Yes! Hello everyone. <laughs> it's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for Basketball Wise Review. Okay, so let's just get right into it, you guys. The episode starts off with Bonnie Jill. I'm always fucking up her name. BJ. We're just gonna call her BJ from now on. I'm gonna think about blowjob, but that's fine. I'll get past it. Her and her man Kareem meet up for a double date with Jackie and Doug. And it's just like, oh my god, oh my god, here's another scene with Jackie and Doug. Um, yeah, the men didn't seem like they wanted to be there at all. And all Bonnie and Jackie could talk about was how crazy the other women are. How, you know, Sanaya is. Jackie is sitting up there giggling her ass off while Bonnie Jo says how she doesn't like Sanaya's old drunk ass. How you gonna be a fucking stylist with your ass out? Explain, bitch. Okay, Jackie is planning this love your body party that is gonna turn into some type of uh s and true blood episode bitch i don't even fucking know um all i know is we felt uncomfortable people there felt uncomfortable you always trying to act like you're so fucking freak nasty with the animals and all of that but then as soon as they get around you you crying and backing up that somebody's gonna die jackie i can't take it i really can't take it <laughs> okay the men are not gonna be at that party thank god okay because what the fuck what the fuck is really hood with whatever was going on I, we're gonna get into it later Malaysia is having a sit down with her sister Crystal and they're having a conversation about her celibacy and how she is done, okay, letting these little boys play with the kitty cat and then running away with the kitty cat, okay, she is done with that, she wants to be celibate, she wants to find a man, okay, and she wants him to be the right man and then they're going to be together and he's going to be the one from Malaysia Pargo and then she's going to have sex with him after that and her sister's like, well bitch, what if the dick ain't good, okay, I'm going to need for you to sample the dick, okay, we too old for that, sample the dick first. Okay, he can be everything you want him to be, but if he can't fuck you right, what y'all gonna do? Okay, y'all should just be friends then, bitch, okay? So I'm gonna need for you to go ahead and test those waters. And then they start to talk about how Malaysia does not understand why the ladies walked out. What is their problem with Brandy? Like, they really don't have a reason to not like her, and they just need to get used to it, okay? I grew up in Compton. I was born and raised here, okay? Y'all are in my backyard, all right? And y'all need to understand that if I'm gonna be there, then my girl Brandy's gonna be there. And it's like, so you mean to tell us that you brought Brandy there on purpose? That's what you're telling us, just like we thought. But you're going to say later on in the episode that you didn't know that bitch was coming. See what the fuck I'm talking about, Malaysia? What's going on with you, bitch? Okay? You be doing the most, okay? All of this and all of this extra and I'm Malaysia Pargo and this face and da 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 And it's just like, bitch, oh my God. Choke on one. Choke on one. Plastic surgery or the new blonde bob got your ass acting like you don't know how to fucking control, <laughs> okay, your narcissism. Control it, bitch. Put it in the box, okay? Save it for later. It needs to pop out every now and again, but I miss old humble chill Malaysia. What the fuck is really hood? So Jackie is getting ready for her old freak nasty party, freaking out about the damn scorpions getting out of the glass cases that they put them in. Oh my God. Kiana is there helping her out. Uh, with the party and talking about how Kristen has really been being distant and she don't know what her problem is, but she invited her and her sister Asia here so that she could help them get their shit together. And I'm like, Jackie, you so old messy ass bitch. You are using this nasty ass fucking party to bring these bitches together so you can have another explosive scene at the Jackie Christie party. And then you're gonna get mad when everybody walks out of your old messy ass, nasty ass motherfucking party. Bitch, everybody felt like they wanted to leave anyway. They just need an excuse, okay? We gonna get into it, y'all, okay? So first of all, why did Jackie have to have a collar on? What the fuck is that about? Really, bitch? Puppy play? Puppy play? Okay, Kiana had to, you know, bring her in to the black carpet with a collar on. And I'm just like, oh my God, Jackie, I just want to throw up. Nobody wants to think about the nasty shit that you've done in your life. Nobody wants to think about that. Why are you always pushing your vag in our face by doing all this nasty, freaky shit? Nobody wants to see you doing this. Okay, no, we don't. Okay. Evelyn and Tammy are there and Evelyn has her ass out. Tammy is looking around like everybody needs a Bible in this bitch. Okay, and she needs a cigarette and an exit door. She don't know why she here. This shit is not right with her. Motherfuckers trying to whip people. Uh -uh, uh -uh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Thank you. No, I'm not into it. And the what is going on? Okay, y'all, it was way too much. Okay. Kristen eventually gets there after all the ladies get there. And Kristen is on one. She came in there stomping, okay, the fuck down. She pissed off and she is going at Jackie because she is putting all the blame on Jackie. And this is what I don't understand. Yes, Jackie is being the Carly Rae. She is facilitating the fuck shit, as I like to say. 
But at the end of the day, it was Sanaya and Asia that had that conversation. And Sanaya that brought that shit to Jackie. If there's anybody that we need to be dragging in this motherfucker, it is Asia. Because she's your sister. And out of everybody, she's the only one that shares DNA with you and should have some type of loyalty to you. I would not want to be friends with a woman that would talk about her sister like that to somebody else. Okay? I, 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 no, I don't. I don't give a fuck. And I've said before that me and my sister do not get along all the time. I can talk about my sister, but I would never talk about my sister like that. That was way too much lying and shit. First of all, I don't fucking lie. I ain't got time for that. Okay, fuck I'm a lie for. Um, but I would definitely never put my, my sister's business out there like that. What the fuck is that about? First of all, I want to know what state you live in where you can get four months pregnant and get a fucking abortion. That's what I want to know. What state you live in when that can happen, okay? I'm just saying, y'all, there's a time limit. <laughs> and I think four months is a, is a little bit over that time limit. But y'all let me know. All you nurses out there, y'all let, you know, people that work at Planned Parenthood, y'all tell me because I don't fucking know. But I'm just really not cool with the Asia bitch, okay? Her and her ashy-ass motherfucking makeup walking up in there. And Kristen was trying to talk to Jackie. And Jackie is schmoozing. And you like that, don't you? Uh, look at Evelyn. That's how you do it, girl, with the strippers and all of that. Gross and us the fuck out she ignores Kristen when she first gets there y'all it was just really fucking messy and as soon as Asia walks in there Kristen gets the fuck up and walks out Kristen is just not here for none of the shit that's going on and I'm like bitch if you wasn't gonna come here to at least say something to your sister why the fuck did you come because I felt like nothing really happened before she got up and rushed out. What, Jackie talking about she mad about the Golden Girls comment and talking about how it's time for them to let it go and their time is over and all of that. And Kristen says, I didn't say all of that. I did call y'all the Golden Girls. I apologize to Tammy and Evelyn, but that was it, okay? It wasn't nothing else and Jackie just kept talking about it. And when she got up and walked off, everybody else got up and walked out too. And Jackie was like, oh, so everybody gonna leave my party following this bitch? Okay, whatever. Fuck all y'all. So she runs outside and she tries to get Kristen to come back in talking about girl I'm just trying to get you and your sister to work it out I'm just trying to get you and your sister to talk and it's like you are so full of shit Jackie you're just facilitating fuck shit you're just trying to be fucking messy I'm sorry but you are and I would have checked you about the messiness but if I was Kristen my problem would have been with the sister but that bitch gonna run outside fucking crying and shit I'm sorry but you was being a punk what you running for like you came there like you was about it what you running for talking about bring your ass outside what the fuck you was gonna do bring your ass outside so you can watch me cry Kristen, really? Y'all, it's stupid to me. It's really stupid to me, this whole thing. I would have been checking the fuck out of Asia if anybody, okay? I wouldn't have had nothing to say to Jackie's old ass. If she's so old, your beef ain't never really got to be with her. But you talking about you looking for loyalty. You just met her. What the fuck you mean you looking for loyalty? You need to be looking for, for loyalty from your motherfucking sister, okay? N none of my siblings and I have both of the same parents, okay? So fuck what? So what? So what? They're lying. There are lines that I will not cross regardless. And there are lines I hope they wouldn't cross, okay? And as far as I can tell, I don't know nobody. <laughs> okay, I don't know I don't know nobody that do their sister like you did your sister, Asia. I mean, that was completely fucked up. But anyway, as soon as Jackie says, you know what, fuck it. I'm tired of trying to convince this bitch I'm going inside. Fuck with me if you want to. So I'll fight all y'all. Hold up, y'all. Don't leave. I forgot the cake. The cake with the asshole and the pussy open and the titties and all of that. The next day, we got to go buy couture for our puppies and shit. So, uh, who was it? Kristen, Bonnie, Jill, and Evelyn meet up. And they talk about the situation. And Evelyn is fucking over uh, Jackie. Evelyn is over her. Evelyn feels like she's a messy bitch. She's the one always starting shit. So, her beef is really with Jackie. She thinks Jackie's a fucking idiot. That Ponderosa shit. Like, bitch, you're an idiot. You're stupid. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, everybody has beef with Jackie now, okay? Tammy and Shawnee meet up and talk about how crazy that nasty ass party was. But really what we got out of this scene is Shawnee talking about her dad and his diabetes and him hiding the fact that his foot was turning another color they took him to the hospital they're talking about amputation and she just is not in the mind to really think about her father dying and even though like in this time i was so feeling my emotion for her you know i i totally get it i have lost a father i totally understand where she's coming from but even as a 20 year old woman death was never out of my mind for my parents so I don't understand how she could be 45 years old talking about she can't imagine her father dying. Like, it's a part of life. 
Understand that it's going to happen and you just need to prepare yourself and love on them as much as you possibly can while they're here. Because once they're gone, that's it. Jackie asked Malaysia and BJ to come and help her paint and come up with a new label and name for her liquor, her wine line that she's coming out with. She loves wine. It's very sexual for her and Doug. I'm like, bitch, you and Doug and sex one more time. Fuck out of here. So tired of you with that shit, bitch. Anyway... She uses this as an opportunity to gauge how the women are feeling about the party and how they're feeling about this whole rift between the, the women from Miami and the women from L.A., okay? And Malaysia is talking about it like she had no idea that Brandy was going to be there, but she doesn't understand what the problem is. And Bonnie Jill, apparently being an honest person, is like, well, they all said they didn't like her and, you know, it was kind of inappropriate for you to bring your friend somewhere where you know people don't like her. I mean, I wouldn't bring my best friend somewhere where I know people don't like them. So, you know, what was the purpose of that? It's kind of like common sense. Malaysia did not like that. You... Coming from Malaysia Pargo, bitch, okay? You want to be an extra, bitch? Do what you do. Go back to your little clique, okay? Go back to Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, and I'm going to go talk to Jackie. So they dispersed because she did not like the way Bonnie Jill was checking her. I did because I was like, that's the same shit I'm thinking in my head. Common sense, bitch, because we're on a reality show. I'm going to sit up here and act like this shit makes sense to me. Bitch, no, it doesn't make sense. What are you talking about? You know they didn't like her. You fucking lying, okay? Anyway... She goes and knocks on Jackie's window and they start talking. She's like, I don't know what the problem is, okay, but I'll sit next to you. And I'll sit next to you. And I'll sit next to you. And can nobody tell me what the problem is? Are y'all scared? Y'all some punks? I mean, what is the problem? Why y'all hating on Malaysia Pargo? Y'all mad because we're young and we're up and coming? Y'all gonna have to get out the way, bitches, and all of this shit talking to Jackie and Jackie kissing her ass talking about, yeah. I mean, when Bonnie Jill was saying that it was common sense and all that, I was looking at you like you gave her a pass, girl, because I know how you get down it's like oh my god shut the fuck up malaysia what's so hard to understand they don't like your fucking friend you bought your fucking friend around they didn't want to talk to your fucking friend what's so hard to understand about that nobody had a problem with you and now she mad because they made the whole comment of, jackie made the comment about them saying that she was a plus one because it wasn't a problem when you was coming, bitch. It wasn't a problem until you decided to invite your flow ass friend to our little dinner that she was not invited to talking about her family was in town. Bitch, get out of here with that stupid shit, okay? If you want to be all tough and hard like you claim to be, why you ain't say that's my friend and she gonna be where I'm gonna be at just like you told your sister? But you going off the jacket like, huh, her fucking boots gonna do something for you. Girl, bye. We'll see how it all play out. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait, bitch. Anyway, that was everything from Basketball Wives. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Share, share, share. And I will see you guys on the next one. Oh, my mama. Oh, my hoo. I look.